Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Siri. Today I'm going to show you how to make Thai tamarind soup or แกงต้มส้ม First, we gonna start making our paste for the tamarind soup. I start with a black paper, but the traditional Thai, they only gonna use the white paper corn instead for the black paper corn. But um, it's hard for me to find over here, so today I use a black paper corn. And next, I gonna add some salt. I use sea salt, cilantro stem. Same thing with the cilantro stem. In Thailand, we always like to use the cilantro root. But the s i l a n t o stem is give you a really really good flavor also, and it's good for your body. When you um, buy the s i l a n t o do not throw away the stem. Just keep them or freeze them, or you can um, dry them and you can use for your recipe. They r e all good. Next, the ginger. This soup is gonna um, add the heat from the ginger. We're gonna put a lot of ginger for this soup. Next, shallot. Same thing. If you don't have shallot, use the red onion. And then also the um, I always say on the beginning, the this soup um, gonna add a heat from the ginger, the pepper corn, and the shallot. Next, our shrimp paste. For the shrimp paste, they smell really, really strong, um, but not judge them by the smell because when you cook this, the smell gonna go away and the a uh, really tasty flavor gonna uh, come into your food. So not leave it out. If you can find shrimp paste, so get one. And here now we done our paste for make our tamarind soup. I gonna remove this, put inside the little bowl. And we're gonna go to next step. To medium heat, I will add the cooking oil to the pan. Okay, and now our oil hot. I gonna add our paste that we just uh, make it early. Put it all. It's gonna add a really really good flavor. And we're gonna fry our paste until all the fingers and the really really good smell uh, come out from the our paste. Now, being four minutes for our paste to be done. Now they smell really really good, and now we can go to the next step. Next, I'm gonna turn the heat up to high, and I'm gonna add the water. I fill the water. After three minutes, this is. Uh, our water and the paste uh, boil. So now I gonna start adding the seasoning. t a m a l i n e sauce. Our palm sugar, or you can use the uh, brown sugar if you not have a uh, palm sugar. And also I gonna add a little bit of white paper. Some fish sauce, and now this is our base for the soup is done. Now I'm gonna add uh, my fish. In Thailand, uh, they use a mackerel, or you can use a uh, chicken or other meat that you like. You can use different fish as your favorite. Okay, I'm gonna add all my tilapia. Okay, and to the medium heat, I gonna allow our tilapia to finish cooking. Always happen when you boil the protein, they will have the foam come up on top. So I gonna remove them, make it uh, better, taste better and uh, nicer when you remove all this foam. And next, I will add the the d e l i c i o u s l i c e ginger, fresh ginger. 
and the green onion cut them into an inch the whole thing the top and bottom add them all add a little bit of cilantro for extra tasty extra herb I let the tamarind soup simmer for 10 minutes for getting extra flavor from all the herbs that we put inside here and now I'm gonna show you how to paste this I didn't use the whole fish so I use the uh, fish fillet so they're easy to bake so be careful when you paste them I'm gonna go slow and now I got a one piece of fish okay um, put your fish this is for one serving and so one piece of um, fish and put your soup what do you like? Mmm, the smell is coming already. Okay, and I'm gonna garnish this with the crispy onion. And um, uh, fat ginger just for presentation. And uh, put a little color with the red pepper and the green onion some cilantro for making just a, a really pretty and nice color for your soup make it look a lot better okay now let's get it a try the fish mm. and the ginger oh Just look when the first time when they touch my tongue. Very tasty and very delicious soup. I really like this soup a lot. I will eat this with the jasmine rice, that's how I like. And um, this soup reminds me a lot of the, my grandfather make it for me because it's my one of my favorite soup uh, that he make it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, if you like this recipe, please don't forget to give me a thumb up, subscribe, and you will see me for the next recipe. Thank you!